This is it. Your ultimate guide to Minecraft. It actually kind of looks like someone just pissed on a book. Beckbro Jack here back for another Minecraft video and today, today is going to be something very, very special. It is the start of Mod Mayhem. If you have no idea what this is, it's basically a series where I upload a new mod showcase every single day for the next week and this is to celebrate hitting 500 uploads on my channel. That is just an insane number, it's half of a thousand videos. I mean some TV shows don't even run that long, but really I just want to say thank you. If you've been with me since the first ever video I've made, or if you just joined today from this video, just thank you a ton for joining my channel and sticking with me and liking my videos. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. And this is kind of a way I like to give back to you guys. I know that a lot of you really do love the macho cases that I do. And a week full of macho cases should be something that you're looking forward to, right? I mean, this is something that I really, really love doing. But yeah, without further ado, let's head inside and let's get into day one. This mod, it's not super duper crazy, but it's definitely going to be very beneficial towards the rest of the week. All right, so let's head in here. Let's grab Franklin's question of the day and let's add the guidebook to our inventory. Pat and Franklin, we will see you guys in a jiffy. Let's head outside so I can show you how this actually works. All right, so here we have the guidebook. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is learn how to craft this. Now, when you do spawn in with this mod installed, you should already have the book with you, but say you lose it, you're gonna need to know how to craft it, right? It's really, really easy, actually. So once you go into your inventory, you can actually press R on anything in your inventory and it will show you how to craft it. Now, for the guidebook, it shows you that you need a book and a crafting table, but you'll also notice that, look at this, we're actually in the guidebook right now, which is a really, really neat feature. Now, if we go out of this and then we just hit escape, it'll bring us back to the main menu of the guidebook. So if I just closed it and then I right click on it again, it'll open up the guidebook where I can literally search for anything. So say I wanted to know how to craft a dispenser. All I need to do is left click on it and bam, look at that. It shows me that I need cobblestone around the edge, I need redstone and I need a bow. And the neat thing about this mod, which kind of separates it from other recipe mods is that it gives you a little info about some of the different items look at this it says dispenser spits out what's inside on a redstone pulse so if you're kind of a noob and you're new to minecraft and you don't really know what some of the different blocks do or what their functionalities are this is great for you because it's definitely going to guide you in the right direction and it's going to explain what each block can do now another neat feature is if you want to know what blocks you actually are going to need to craft a certain thing so say you have a bunch of oak planks but you don't really know what to do with them you can right click on oak planks and it'll show you everything that you can craft with them so you see i can get some stairs i can get some fence i can get some fence gates uh oak wood slabs and then you can just scroll through the whole entire thing and it will give you the craft recipes that utilize wood so uh, there's probably a ton and the neat thing about this is also it will give you mod crafting recipes so as you can see i have the grappling hooks mod installed and it's showing me exactly how to craft a wooden grappling hook now that's pretty much all the functionalities that the guidebook has, but I wanted to include something else that you could possibly use. Now if you don't know, Not Enough Items is a recipe mod that has not really been updated I think since 1.7.10. So a lot of people have been scrambling, you know, what mods do I use to get my crafting recipes, especially for mod packs and that sort of thing. The guidebook is great, but I wanted to give you guys a second option, and that is Just Enough Items. I believe that's what it's called. So you probably notice on the right side I have a whole bunch of different little blocks over here like I got diamond ore I got some cobblestone stairs and this has the same functionality as the guidebook and it's pretty much just an updated version of not enough items in Minecraft 1.9 so it's pretty basic to use all you have to do is left click on an item if you want to see the uses for it and then you just right click on it to see how to actually craft it so I want to know how to craft yellow wool I left click on it and it shows me but if I want to know what can use yellow wool I would right click on it and it will give me all the different things now it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the guidebook but it definitely gets the job done so if i go to the second page as you can see i can make beds out of this but a neat thing also is if i go to something with multiple uses that like not just in a crafting bench so if i go to spruce wood and i left click on this it will actually show me what i can do with it so if i put in a crafting bench i can get some spruce wood planks and also if i hit the tab over it will show me that i can actually use this block as fuel and it 
gives me the burn time. So this is definitely a little bit more useful and it gives a little bit more information than the guidebook, but the guidebook is definitely more aesthetically pleasing and it does have its benefits as well. So I would definitely suggest downloading one of these mods if you're going to be dabbling with some other mods, just like I'm going to be doing for the rest of the entire week. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's open Franklin's question of the day before we end off this video, because this is going to be very, very important. What is your favorite Minecraft mod? I'm actually really curious to see what your guys' favorite mods are. Personally, mine is Twilight Forest. I don't think I've ever actually reviewed it on the channel, but hey, you might see it later in the week. Not entirely sure. It's a huge Minecraft mod, so I don't know if I'll get to it just yet, but definitely one day. One day I will review that mod and it'll be amazing. But yeah, anyway, I'm curious to see what your favorite Minecraft mods are because uh, maybe they'll be featured in the rest of the week. I mean, no promises there, but if you comment a mod and maybe I like it, maybe I'll just review it. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys did enjoy day one. Trust me, the mods will get a lot more crazier throughout the week. I hope you guys trust me there because, I mean, it's, it's just going to get crazy. If you did enjoy this video too, make sure to go pound that like button and also while you're down there, make sure to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on the rest of the week's mods. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. My name is Beckbrojack, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Goodbye.